Hello everyone, let's jump straight into this. I'm just going to go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the lighter shade and pop that on my eyelids. Just going to cover up those veins. As you can see, I have quite veiny eyelids. Uh, so this, I'm not going to put on a heap just because my eyelids crease like no one has ever known. But we're just going to blend that in with my Chi Chi sponge. And then taking the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette and a nice fluffy brush, we're going to get the shade Thanks a Latte and just pop that all over the lid just to set that concealer down. So as you can see, you can still see my veins just a little bit. Um, that's just because I didn't put enough on. Then we're going to go in with that same brush in the shade Transition and just pop that in the crease. Just blending that all out, just so we've got a nice, well, transition <laughs> shade to work off and so that the eyes don't seem so harsh. Blending and blending and blending some more. Now with the shade Are You Kitten Me? Same brush, um, again just blending on the outer corner of the eye, still in the crease. I'm just trying to add a bit more depth. A bit more warmth. So today I'm going to go in with a rosy kind of copper gold eye look. Nice and soft, nothing crazy. And then with the shade Brownie Points, I just picked up on a smaller, more defined fluffy brush. I'm just focusing that on the outer corner of the eye. And now I'm getting a flat brush with the shade Toffee and On Sleek, just mixing them together and then going to put Pop that, <laughs> pop that all over the eye. Now I'm just really patting that on, packing a lot of colour on. So I've just popped on toffee and then on fleek again on the outer corners. Nothing crazy though, just making it a little bit like slight variation. Transition, I'm just going in and blending out that harsh line. Just, I have quite hooded eyelids, so I try to blend it up a fair bit, just so it looks all nice and nothing crazy. On to eyebrows now, we're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And then I'm just going to draw in underneath my brow, nice little small strokes. We want it to look like it's my actual hair, not that I've drawn on my eyebrows with a sharpie. Just going in on the mainly focusing on the tail I want it to look nice and sharp I've had it waxed off before so it's very patchy and yeah that wasn't a good story it was not a good time now we're just going to carve those brows out I'm just going in with a concealer brush and then that NARS concealer again it is a bit light um, if you have a darker concealer on you I would recommend using a slight like one that matches your skin tone this one is just a bit light, it's great for highlighting, so good for the outer brow, but probably not the best for the inner bit of the brow. Um, it's just all I had on me at the moment. So we're going in and around just to really sharpen that brow out, like you can tell. It just looks so much neater right now, and then I'm just blending it down. Nothing worse than having a chunk of concealer just hanging there. So with the eyes, you can see that they're quite smoked out and going a bit below my eye line. Um, I will tidy that up later on when we get to foundation. So just going on, doing the same thing on the other side. Carving it out and then blending that all out. The difference is crazy. Once you carve out your brows with concealer, you will never, you'll never not do it. So they're looking all done, nice and clean and neat. So just going in with a by Terry mascara. This was just a sample that I got um, around Christmas time when Mecca had all their deals on. This is a really good mascara. It's nice, nice and black and really. I think I feel like it curls my eyelashes a bit. I have quite straight and long eyelashes, but they are very thin, so this does add a nice thickness and really helps them stand out. I'm not gonna go on with falsies today just because I had uni later on and oh that's me falling off the chair. 
So now we are going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Just going to rub that all over the face. I love this primer. I have really dry skin at the moment and it really helps in not having any flakiness going on. So now I'm just going in with the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in shade Light 4 or Dewfill and then also the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 220. Uh, both of those are quite yellow toned, um, obviously Duvaline is just a lot lighter. I'm a bit tanned at the moment so I'll just mix some of those through and then go in and blend it in with a Chi Chi makeup sponge. Just making sure you get all down the neck so that there's not any visible difference, it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. So the Laura Mercier translucent powder um, in the shade Universal. I'm not going to bake today, I'm just going to brush it all over my face to set it. This is a really lightweight powder, you definitely can't feel that you're wearing it's very finely milled. Now with the La oh, glass, the NARS Languana Bronzer, just going to use this to contour out my cheekbones. I love this shade, it's nice and cool toned but not, not too cool toned that it looks like you've got mud on your face, but I am a big fan. So I'm just going to contour, not, you don't want to go right in your cheek hollows, you want to go just above just to make your cheekbones look like they are chiseled and raised. Nice. Good look. So now I'm just going to contour down the sides of my nose. I've also done my temples and then I will be going in under my lip just to add a bit more dimension to my face to make my lips but not so strong because I do have quite little lips considering the rest of my face and my head is massive. And then I'm just going to go underneath my nose as well just so it looks like I've got a bit of a button nose. Now I'm going in with the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. I believe they bought this out last year for Valentine's Day. I'm just going to go in with Baby Love and I Will Always Love You, a nice peachy shade and then also the muted sort of rose colour. I'm just going to dust that on the apples of my cheeks just to really bring them up. You don't want to go too far centre on your face or else you look like a clown. Now with the Becca Champagne Pop, I'm just going to pop that on my cheekbones and look at that glow. Uh, when I first got this, I didn't love it but it has grown on me. It's nice, I would say natural, but it's just a nice healthy glow. I feel like a gold highlight is so flattering on such a large number of skin tones, especially if you have a bit of a tan. So we're just going to go in with a more defined brush and then we're going to pop that on my cupid's bow again just to make my lips look a little bit bigger than what they are. And then we're also going to go in on the brow bone. Just lightly, nothing crazy. And then also on the end of my nose, I live for a nose highlight. I just feel like it looks adorable. You get a nice little button nose going on. Also just gonna pop it on the highest point of my cheekbones. Just a little something extra. And then down the bridge of my nose to really bring it forward. So with Crystal and Ploof from the Holy Grey palette, I am just going to pop that in my inner corner really brighten my eyes up. So now with the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, I'm going in with Lady Balls and then this is just a MAC lip liner. I'm not too sure on the shade, I've had it for quite a while and the name's rubbed off. Um, but yeah, I believe it was on a special edition collection. So just lining the outer, I mean my lip line I guess. I'm not going over, I don't like over drawing my lips, it looks a bit silly. On me personally, and then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced. So we're just going to pop that all over the lip. This is a really nice pigmented lipstick. I do love it. Just the formula is not, not eating proof. Until you start eating, it is stuck on the lips forever and then it starts to bleed a little bit. I'm just going in with a lip brush and tying that up and then there we go. I just did my hair and then we've got the finished look. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. Bye.